So I'm sure we can all agree that Fallout's graphics are fairly decent, but some of us want that very realistic look to Fallout 4. Whether it's because they want their game to look different, or they're tired of waiting for Fallout 5 to release. Thankfully, there is a way to make your game look better. Thanks to modders, a holy creation known as an EMB was created. Now there are many different EMBs out there, but sometimes when trying to install them, it can be a little bit confusing. In this video, I will be going over a beginner's guide on how to install an EMB, so without further ado, let's just straighten this video. So you may be wondering, what is the first step to installing an EMB? As you can see, there are so many EMBs out there, which one do you choose first? There is something you have to do before you install an EMB. The first thing you need to do when installing an EMB is install the EMB binaries. What this is going to do is make it so the EMB can actually work when playing Fallout 4. So the first thing you're going to want to do is search up ENB series for Fallout 4 in your preferred web browser. I will have it linked in the comment section to make it easier for you guys. Although if you do search it up, this should be the first link you seek. Once you're on the website, simply click on the most updated version. After that, simply press the download button and boom, you've just completed step 1. Step 2 is just as simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your file explorer and go to the file you just downloaded. Open the file and go to the wrapper version. Once you're there, copy the two first files. After you copy the files, simply paste them into the main Fallout 4 directory and boom, you've just completed your second step. And now you are ready to start installing EMBs, but the question is, what EMB do you install first? Well, really at the end of the day, it comes to your personal preference and what your computer can handle. Now you may be wondering how to install the EMB itself. Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is install the EMB and open it in your file explorer. Once you open the EMB, you should see three files and simply copy and paste those into your main Fallout 4 directory. All you have to do at that point is launch Fallout 4 and boom, you'll have your EMB. One cool thing is that when you're in the game, you can mess around with the ENB's settings if you want to change something. Now at this point, you may be wondering, what EMB do I use? If you're looking for some good looking EMBs, I have three of them that you may like. So the first EMB we'll be taking a look at is Ghost EMB. This is a very lightweight EMB while also still looking very nice. The nice thing about this EMB is it comes in three different quality versions, which is nice because it's more performance friendly for lower end computers that want to use an EMB. Now a popular EMB right now is Reactor EMB. While it is one of the best EMBs out there, it will really be hard on your graphics card. If you want an EMB that's fairly similar in looks but doesn't melt your computer, get this EMB. In our number 2 spot we have Fusion EMB, and this is a very nice looking EMB that's fairly similar to Reactor. Although if you were looking for a darker looking EMB, get Remnants EMB. It is a little harder on your graphics card, but will make for the perfect zombie apocalypse playthrough. And I know what you guys are thinking, why was there a big blue tint in the Remnants EMB? Well don't worry, that was only because it was sunny out. If you pair Remnants EMB with darker weather mods, you will get for the perfect dark apocalypse type game feel. And finally, the honorable mentions. Here are two mods that will improve your EMB playing experience. So our first one is Ultra Quality God Rays Performance Fix. What it's basically going to do is give you the performance you might get while having your God Ray settings on low. Now if I were you, I'd just turn God Rays off at that point, but they do look good so I can understand why you might want to have them on. And if you still are getting bad performance, I recommend you go check out my other video. After watching that, you should get great performance while playing Fallout with an EMB. And the final one is Knack X, and what this mod is basically going to do is it's going to add a ton of different presets to the game and more weather options, making it so whatever EMB you're playing with will go more with the game depending on what preset you put on it with Knack X. Overall, both of these mods are really good to finishing off your ENB experience. And with that, that concludes our ENB tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.